Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Just a few small pieces of news here to cover, uh, stuff that we did mention on the podcast yesterday, so definitely check that out if you want just a recap of all of the news from the last few weeks. But I want to do a separate video to cover this stuff here, uh, partly because I suppose there's a little bit of a sort of time crunch in a way on both of these pieces of news. The first one here is that Magpie Games, of course, who are making the Avatar Legends role-playing game, the Kickstarter is coming on August 3rd, but in the build-up to that date, they are doing a thing where they basically have their first uh, stretch goal. So it's a sort of pre-launch stretch goal here. So it, they are hoping to get 2,500 followers on their pre-launch page, and if they get that, they are going to unlock the Avatar dice pack here, Avatar Legends dice pack. So this seems really, really cool. You're going to get yourself 12 dice, two waterbender dice, two earth king, uh, bender eyes, two dice. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, two airbender dice, two firebender dice, two weapons expert dice, and two technology expert dice. They are all the different training disciplines within the game. Basically, when you make your character, you choose a specific playbook or character archetype, and then within that, you choose to be basically a bender of whichever element or a technology or a weapons expert. So basically all you really need to play the game is your sort of character sheet and two dice you know, for your color, I guess. And, and these are the exact themed ones that you would actually want. So these seem like the, ac uh, the perfect ideal uh, you know, first thing to add to the game. So uh, if you look at their pre-launch page here, 2,309 followers, so they're just uh, under 200 off this, and they went from like 0 to 2,000 in just like, what, three days so far, and we've got until August 3rd. I think this is going to happen, so these dice seem like they're all but confirmed, so that is good, and it speaks to the popularity of the game that, you know, it's a little bit of a stretch basically having people literally just, you know, either create an account, log in, just to click this button when, you know, they don't really have much of a sort of pre-launch page in that it's just this. It's just click on a button to get an email when this thing goes live. Uh, and they're getting a decent amount of people to do that. And it speaks to how popular the game has been and how interested people are in this. So um, just to kind of, again, add some context to this, their previous game that they're, they're doing, that they're just about to fulfill, Root, is also a similar type of game. It's using the Powered by the Apocalypse sort of game engine. Uh, they got 6,500 backers basically for a total of 600,000 uh, and if you take a look at this page it gives you a sense for like okay they offer just the PDFs if you just want the digital stuff you can get the core book you can get both books both books and the satchel of extra kind of content you can get deluxe books so they ended up unlocking a good amount of extra stuff and, and look how nice the kickstarter campaign is for root you can only imagine what this is going to look like for the avatar one given that they have sort of uh, support from you know i suppose avatar studios to a degree with this so i think it's going to look really nice just going through the kickstarter on august 3rd uh, and then when you get down towards the bottom you get the full scope of what it is like this is what the game effectively is going to be it's going to be the core book for avatar legends they uh, root only has one extra book but avatar is getting two i think they said they were getting a republic city book and a spirit world book and um, so that's cool they also unlocked uh, these sort of deluxe books which seem to have uh, really nice kind of covers and you know it comes in a box a slip case and so on really really nice here's all the extra stuff that they unlocked including dices themselves but also like a gm screen if you're the game master um maps i think is a really really cool thing i'd love that for avatar notepads of course um denizen deck and equipment deck which i guess is just going to be sort of npc stuff so this is probably be like a deck that features like fire nation soldiers bandits uh earth kingdom soldiers chi blockers that sort of thing just for the npcs so you have a physical thing to represent them as like a deck of cards uh, again i i hope they unlock that that would be really cool to see um, and it's, if you if you want to go like all in on this game it seems like they're going to give you the option to get all the books and the, the extra stuff for not like not too much, I guess. Um, so there's all the different pledge levels and you can see a sense for their the stretch goal stuff. They went in with an overall goal of 10,000. 
they met that immediately and went on to get up to 600,000. So you could see they had stretch goals at each 10K and then each 20K, then up to each 50K, all the way up to 600,000. Mainly unlocking these new playbooks, which are the sort of you know, character archetypes. And I guess we're going to get that as we go on. But again, it's going to be interesting just to see what they, how exactly they do this one, given that they are 100% confident the Kickstarter is just going to be a pre-order thing. They're not at all worried. They're not going to meet whatever goal they have. This is just a pre-order way to get the, the game. So, um, you know, I, I'm excited to see how far they go with this. So that's cool. Next piece of news. And again, this is why I wanted to make sure I got this one out. Because this product is only going to be available to be ordered from July 22nd to July 29th. So you only, as of the making of this video, when I'm putting this live, you're only going to have about four four days to actually purchase this, and that is only up for a week. So this is Topps, well-known trading card game manufacturer, are making an on-demand set for avatars, the first ever Topps avatar thing, and it's a very small set on demand. It's only there's only one product for it. You are paying $9.99 for a, a sort of exclusive sort of pack of ten cards. Uh, 10 cards from a 20 card set and you'll have an option to get these special rare parallel cards so um you can see here pack configuration 10 cards per pack nine base cards or just normal cards uh, and one parallel or i guess shiny card and um, they go over the parallels here which i'll get to in a second but here's the checklist for the full set there are 20 cards in the set there's going to be ang Avatar State Ang, Katara, Sokka, Appa, Momo, Toph, Prince Zuko, Team Avatar Zuko, Suki, Uncle Iroh, King Bumi, Avatar Roku, Team Avatar 1, Azula, Cabbage Merchant, Team Avatar 2, Mei, Tai Li, and Jet. So they hit, I think, a little bit of everything. Ang, Avatar State Ang, uh, I guess Book 1 Zuko and Book 3 Zuko are the two different Zukos. You have some group shots in here, as well as most of this sort of main supporting and then the really obvious minor characters about i'd say all you're really missing here is maybe a zhao maybe an ozai and maybe some of the past avatars but for a very small set i think they've got most of the decisions correct here now let's take a look at some of these sample cards that they give you so this is obviously the way you're going to get it i have to actually have an example of this here because i've ordered stuff like this to sort of on demand cards from tops before you're going to get your cards in this sort of um you know small little plastic case that actually is going to have i guess some padding on the back and um, that's going to have your cards in it so it's going to be a pack of like nine cards plus a parallel you don't know which nine base cards you're going to get you don't know what parallel you're going to get but you get this nice kind of collector kind of case for it and these are like these formula one cards that they did uh to kind of signify specific events so like this is lewis hamilton uh, when he won his seventh championship last year at the turkish grand prix they did a set of cards from turkey that include like well Lewis won the championship there, Sebastian Vettel got a podium there, and so on, kind of key events. Um, this obviously is just meant to be a just more gen general set for Avatar, but still kind of exclusive because it is such a small amount of cards. Um, so the other thing here is obviously the parallel. You're going to get one of these in every pack, but what one are you going to get? So you can see here they talk about there's blue parallels, numbered up to 99, green parallels, numbered up to 50, red parallel numbered up to 25 white parallel up to 10 black parallel up to five and then just one numbered card for avatar uh, four elements parallel now they're not particularly clear as to whether like how does this exactly work does this mean each card in the set has all of these numbers so that there's an avatar four elements parallel for each card there's numbers one to five black parallel for each card or is that scattered out across the set? Are you guaranteed a numbered card if, just for buying this? Or is there a sort of standard um, parallel? Which, if you've got any Topps cards before, like the, the recent Formula 1 cards that I have up as a Patreon exclusive video and YouTube channel member exclusive video, I got a Formula 1 parallel card, um, but I didn't. Get, it wasn't one of the rare numbered ones. But 
this is obviously a different type of product than the sort of standard turbo attacks packs uh, so maybe you are guaranteed to get one of these uh, you know they are talking about like it's exclusive parallels which i think gives you the idea that it is it's exclusive there probably is this but you know they're probably going to get enough orders where like they'd run out of numbers just with this because this leaves what like less than 200 of each card available and I get the impression there's going to be a bit more orders than that but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes just how exclusive it actually is or not but still I suppose you know you have probably have a good chance to get a numbered card um, and just see how it goes it's not a game of course they're just trading cards um, and the art on them is a little it's a little standard like the Katara the Sokka here uh, and the Ang. that's stock art that we've seen before there's nice graphic design work outside of that but the core card is a little you know basic in terms of the imagery i don't personally myself remember seeing this particular image of zuko before but it looks kind of very clean it's not taken from the show and it's not an obvious stock piece of like imagery that i've seen so uh, they might have some new pieces of art scattered in here across the set or else this is just a, a lesser used piece of zuko art that i'm just completely misremembering and um, so you know th there could be some cool surprises in here across this but i think it's a cool idea and it brings up the idea of like okay here's some exclusive on-demand cards that might be very collectible in the future um i personally more like to see tops do just a, a bigger avatar set where you buy packs and stuff like that uh, and potentially like a proper card game but you know we'll, we'll see where things go at the very least there's sort of a little bit of a deal here of like tops working with nick to make these avatar cards happen um it's it's you know in terms of trading card stuff we know where they're at avatar legends trading card game to go with our avatar legends role-playing game maybe uh, who knows uh, that's just pure speculation but obviously you only have a few days to order this if you want to get it uh four days um it's probably going to be easier for people from america and canada to order than from uh, europe it seems like they do ship pretty much everywhere i ordered one the shipping was relatively high f to uh ireland uh, but because it's sort of an exclusive thing, I didn't mind the the shipping being really excessive. But I can understand if you wanted to buy lots of this, how that might be a bit of a problem. But, you know, it's, it's just something I think people should know about. Because I haven't really seen many people post about this kind of thing actually existing. And I can see there being, you know, a fun thing as everyone gets their packs to see, you know, what cards they get one out of the set and then what uh, happens with regards to the really rare stuff. Like, what on earth is an Avatar 4 Elements Parallel? Is there some way that they make it work where, like, uh, the, the there's multiples, like, uh, shininess going on all over the place? Because uh, you can't immediately tell from, like, the border of the cards, like, is that just a normal card? Is that a blue parallel? Maybe? I, I think so. Is that a four element parallel or is that just normal Ang? I'm not sure. Uh, and then the Zuko, like, that seems pretty crazy. Is that four element parallel? Because it looks like there's a bit of everything going on in the background there. So, you know, th th there's a few questions that I definitely have uh, with this in terms of, like, you know, what exactly does it look like? But the price isn't too bad. You know, you're paying a dollar a card. But again, it's it's kind of seems highly collectible on demand. It is what it is. Now, interestingly, it says uh, ship seven to ten business days after the expiry date. So basically, they should ship middle of August. Basically, so you know, we'll see how this goes. Either way, uh, when mine arrives, uh, I will open it up and show you guys what it's like. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you all know what that's about. And yeah, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts and expectations ahead of the Kickstarter, uh, especially with regards to these dice that we have here that are probably going to happen. How do you think the uh, Kickstarter will do compared to like the previous game? And yeah, thoughts on Avatar trading cards here. Not exactly as we want it, but something. What are your thoughts on all of this? So that's been uh, the video. Thanks for watching and bye.